Woo! Y'all. Okay, I almost just stepped on this. And while, yes, it is a simple black snake, I don't want to step on it. So. I'm going to have to chase this sucker out of here somehow. guys that was incredibly startling and it frightened me a little bit as you could plainly hear <laughs> so what I'm doing right now with the raised coop is what I call stirring the the litter in the bottom um, and then I'm gonna be adding fresh Pine shavings to it, and we will do this all winter long. And at the end of spring, before summer really sets in, we completely clean all of the coops out, which there were four, and now we're down to two. Praise the Lord, because that was just too many chickens. Actually, it's really 
really not that bad. If you keep up with this, it doesn't build up any smell. It's it's really kind of earthy. But it's dusty, always. And this is not something that you do every day. Depending on how many chickens are in the actual coop, um, once to twice a week. Stir up all of your litter on the bottom. Um, scrape down any of the roosting bars if you have any <sighs> droppings on them. So that, that also gets stirred in so that over the winter, what that does is it takes Oh, sorry guys, this is not the easiest thing to open with arthritic hands. <coughs> Excuse me. So what that will do is it takes all of this carbonaceous material and helps mix it with all that nitrogen rich poop. All the poo and the breakdown that occurs generates heat. Excuse me. You can expect on average at least a 10 degree heat gain from keeping your litter or your bedding at a deep level method and making sure that you're keeping it all moved around because it has to get oxygen in it and um, it's just not something you want to entirely leave up to the chickens because you definitely want it done right otherwise you get a buildup of noxious ammonia um, in your coops and that can actually cause a lot of serious respiratory uh, health issues with your chickens and well we love our chickens and we really love those eggs so we don't want that hi baby pretty girl <laughs> oh and also you don't want it to get too deep and uh, make it to where you can't stir it around. So if you feel like there's a little extra, take some out and put it in your compost. So now I'm going to tamp a little bit of this down for them. And it smells lovely and like pine saw almost. And there you have it. It's really that simple. The, the, the deep litter method it is lovely. Um, and it turns into this beautiful goodness. So here is our current third ring started. Which is what I just put that shovel um, of litter from in that coop in. And so now this one will end up being... Um, full and worked by the chickens really soon. <laughs> now the first and the other two. So I know you guys were in here when we redid all of this, which was one week ago. And this is essentially how much you need to put in um, to keep the ammonia levels down. And since this one actually got stirred yesterday, I don't need to do it again today. I can. But, work smart, not hard, right? I don't know why, I just like to put a little bit of the shavings on these uh, roosting areas because for some reason, I feel like 
they like to have cushioning on their feet, which I could be entirely wrong about. Oh, and this right here. While I'm thinking about it, we do have the occasional polar event, frequently referred to as a polar vortex in these parts. <laughs> Pardon me. And if that occurs, what we will do is plug our heat lamps in. Um, they're very dusty. They just sit here unplugged so that they're where I need them. So this is actually a reptile lamp. It emits zero light and there is uh, pretty close to zero chance of it exploding and causing a fire in here. Where your issue would come in with these is if they were not secured. So I don't trust just the clips that typically come with these lamps. We also have it wired up. Um, no falling of any lamps. They are out of the, the flight ability of the birds and they're nowhere near the floor. But the heat is pretty amazing. So I would definitely recommend that um, if you don't have a safe heat source um, available already set up for your birds, this is a great way to go. It's much safer and uh, frankly I do need to have more protection around it just because and I don't. So don't be like me in that regard. Okay guys, so there you have it. Stirring and refreshing the coops, it's as easy as that. Um, having chickens in your backyard or on your homestead is really a lot more simple than you might think. Don't go into it uneducated. Absolutely do your research. If you have any questions at all, just leave it down below in the comments. I'll be happy to either give you the answer or find the answer for you. I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Bye.